Hey, what's up, yo? I haven't done a video in a while, and uh, it's uh, July 19th. I'm sweating. I turned off the fan so you can hear my voice better. And um, I have a sick day today. I wasn't feeling so good, so I'm staying home and I'm painting. And uh, I figure since it's so hot, I'm going to paint a snowy owl. So I'm using this as a reference. And I've drawn it out already. It's kind of simple. It's just like a little circle. So very easy to draw. And it's a small painting, but I've taped everything down so far. And I'm um, ready to go. So I'm starting with um, a skinny brush, very tiny skinny brush. And it's just going to be like a lot of textures on the owl. So just a lot of browns and maybe some yellows and stuff. So I have my messy palette and browns mixed in there so I'm just gonna get some water and some Van Dyke brown mix it with some yellows and some sienna color and some water and just add some textures forgive me if you hear me sniffling just getting over a cold So I'm just adding a bunch of textures all over the place. So this might take a while. I'm gonna shape out the head here, all these feathers. Just a spotted brown and white and gray owl. Get some gray now. Put a little bit of gray underneath the beak. It's gonna lighten up a little bit. Let me take some of that off. Do little hairs around the eyes here. Hope we get some more browns. Top of his head is very spotted and brown, so I'm gonna go just uh, doing whatever I see here in this owl. So hot out here today. I'm in Brooklyn. And it's like 80 something degrees right now, probably. Feels like 100 in this apartment. All right, so I'm just spotting all around. This owl, my watercolor. Let's uh, get these eyes a little bit, so darker black. Remember, black is um, usually a mixture of Van Dyke brown and and uh, this blue here, ultramarine blue. You get enough of both. Get nice black, dark grays. Okay, and gonna outline. We're just using the same skinny brush for all this. Works pretty pretty good for all this texture. And detail. Big owl eyes. <laughs> so that's everything so far. And I'm just adding more texture. Pretty easy, this owl. Easier than an elephant, I think. Just an easy shape. And just spots of brown and gray, that's pretty much it.
some more of the wing over here. Pick it up, go a little bit quicker. So the reference I'm using doesn't really have a background or anything, so I kind of made my own, like, branch. So, with some of this texture dry, I'm going to use a bigger flat brush, this one, and maybe mix together some blue with some water, uh, some light blue. Yeah, that's enough. And we're just gonna uh, get some background in there. Some blue sky. I'm gonna trace out that shape of that owl. Keep dipping my brush in the water and a little bit more color. Remember, when you, once you get close to uh, another wet color, it's going to blend. Not too bad over there, but... Just going to go around these branches. So let's let the sky dry a little bit, and as that's drying, I'm going to go back and add more of that texture. Switch back to my skinny brush, and some more browns with some water, and we're just going to add more. A lot of dark spots in there. Do his uh, claws down here, a little brown, and a little gray color. Okay, I'm going to keep with the gray and add some grays and dark blacks and the rest of the browns blended together. Okay, the, his eyes are dry now, so I'm going to add yellow. So just straight up yellow, I'm not going to mix it with anything. Same brush, should be okay. Bright yellow eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna keep adding more texture. Just whenever I see little hairs and feathers and stuff, it's adding that in. Some more browns. <laughs> if 
background still a little wet, so I'm going to wait to do that branch. So I'll keep adding more texture. More dark spots under his beak here. Got a little bit of yellow, I think. Maybe mix with some brown to his beak. Just a little bit. There you go. Highlight that a little. And, well, as you can see, that's pretty much it. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, we're just going to keep adding texture and stuff. Um, once the background, I don't know if you can see if it's still a little wet, that blue we put down. Once that dries a little bit, then we'll go back and do the branch there and just add some more textures and stuff. Just little dabs and, and stuff like that with your um, skinny paintbrush. And that is an owl. So thank you for watching and happy painting, everyone.